Good morning, everyone. It's Jamie from Living Faith Homestead. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. It's really sunny here today, and it looks like it's warm, but it's not. It's about, it was negative seven on my phone um, a little bit ago, so it's pretty cold here today. So, but we still gotta get out, feed the chickens and the ducks, and um, get a few things done. And here is my little male duck. He's been staying in the cage in the woodshed, and um, he's got plenty of wood shavings, and it's insulated all around his cage so that he stays warm. But I can't get the pan that I keep his water in. It's um, frozen, so I'm just gonna pour some water, hot water in, if he likes his water. And that'll break up the ice and cool it, cool it down. I'm really hoping this spring find him a female. So I think he's kind of lonely in here by himself. Sometimes I let him out, but I'm not gonna today because it's just really too cold. All right. So we have some fresh snow, and I got a dish shovel in front of the coop in case they want to come out for a little while. If you can hear them all in there, they're going crazy. They don't like to have to wait for breakfast. the coop today and we're just going to give them some fresh wood chips to keep them warm and um, hopefully they will um, stay warm enough through this cold. I'm sure they will. We've had a lot of cold. I'm keep some heat out here a little bit and uh, I think they'll be fine. The wood chips that I have in here are frozen right to the ground. It's been so cold. Pile is um, 
pretty uh, frozen. I should have tarped it over, but I just haven't. It is frozen solid. It's so cold out here, it's making my eyes water. But I think we're still gonna go for a, a winter walk and um, just get some fresh air. We can't forget about the birds. It certainly is a bright day today. It's gorgeous out. Well, except that it's freezing cold. Usually our snow banks are a lot higher than this. They're usually as tall as I am, so. We have been kind of lucky with not getting that horrible five feet of snow at a time that we often get because of lake effect snow. It's such a long time before spring. And I am ready. So I think today I'm going to get some seeds started, some herb seeds, just to grow something. It's really desolate out here, huh? There's nothing. You hear a few birds chirping here and there. The birds that are brave enough to stick around. I always look forward to the time of year when the geese come back and then spring is usually on its way by then. So, but that won't be for about two more months. So we still got a long winter ahead of us. All right, so it is way too cold to be outside today. And um, so I decided to come in and get some inside work done. I haven't been able to do a lot lately because I've been so sick with this sinus thing going on and um, I don't know, some kind of virus going around. It's not a sinus infection, the doctor said, but just some kind of virus that can last like four weeks or longer and it has really been four weeks allergies and sinus trouble and just can't get rid of it but anyway um i have eggshells in here because i'm going to grind them up in my little baby bullet and um put them in this jar so that i can um have them for when i plant my tomatoes in the garden this year and um it'll be a um, just to put them in the hole for some added calcium and stuff. So anyway, this part is going to be really, really loud. to let this run like 15 20 seconds at a time and let it cool down for a second so let not feel too warm it's really dusty but it's good So we're just going to pour it in here. And it's really nice and fine. Then 
I'm gonna put some more eggshells in. All right, round two. the dust coming out the and it's really that easy I just been um I just started saving my eggshells I usually just throw them in the compost and um, but I decided to start saving them for my tomatoes so got that much so far so I'm just gonna put it a top on it and um, put it on a shelf. And when I have eggshells again, enough to do this, I will do it again. And hopefully I'll have a full jar by time it's time to put the tomatoes into the ground. All right, so these are herbs that I actually started um, last spring and they've been in the house the whole time under my grow light, except for now, because I haven't had my grow light up and running yet. But um, you can see, like this is rosemary, and you can see the new growth. It is so leggy. It's just, it's horrible. So I really need some light. I also have some lavender in here. Um, but today I'm gonna start some new indoor herbs. I know I started them like um, a month ago, but the problem was with those is that um, they started coming up, but they also had a lot of weed seeds in there, in the soil, because I mixed um, potting soil with um, some of my compost, and um, it had a lot of weed seeds in it. So now I know why um, there's so many weeds in my garden. So anyway, um, I decided to start over because I didn't want all those weed seeds mixed with all my herbs and all of that. So I'm just gonna start over today and I'm going to sterilize the soil first. All right, so I just have an old enamelware pan that I use for this kind of thing. So I'm just gonna put my soil that is mixed with compost, seed starter stuff, and I'm gonna fill it up in the pan. So my oven is turned on to 200 degrees. So we're gonna leave it in the oven for 30 minutes and that will sterilize your soil. And I'm, I'm almost positive that it will kill off all the weed seeds. So that's what I'm hoping because I really like to use my compost to start my seeds. Um, but I hate having weeds come up too. So. I have it about three or four inches deep and do a little at a time. So you want you want the temperature of the soil to be internally like 180 degrees. So we're gonna put it in there for 30 minutes and then we are going to start some seeds. So I ordered some seeds from MI Gardener I got them a couple weeks ago. I don't even remember what it was, what I ordered now. I really love their seeds. So let's see. We have catnip, dark opal basil, which is so pretty when you grow it. It's really, really pretty color. We have thigh basil, holy basil. We got lots of basil. We have some more. Um, common English lavender, some sage, some hyssop, oregano, St. John's wort, stevia, some more rosemary, 
some marshmallow. Never grew this before, but I'm really interested to uh, try it out. And of course, we got some premier kale, some dinosaur kale, which I can't wait to put this in the garden, and then some more chamomile so that I can have lots of chamomile for my teas. So, we obviously aren't going to start all of these seeds today, but I'll go through and figure out which ones we're going to do. So, in MI Gardener, seeds are 99 cents a pack. So, it's, it's really a great deal. So, in the wintertime, you can really go a little bit crazy here. Because, especially if you're a gardener and you love to garden. Because there's just nothing to do. There's nothing to do. Um, everything outside is just dead and lifeless and no green and all you see is snow for months and months and months it feels like so um, I'm always really excited to get something going I got to order some more seeds um, soon I got to order some pepper seeds which I meant to actually put in with this order but I didn't because I like to get them started like real soon um, probably um, by the beginning of February, I like to have them started because they do take like 14 days to germinate and then, um, and then I like to top them. So they, it takes me a while to grow my peppers. All right. So I got this soil all sterilized now and I wet it down so it was nice and moist. And so now I'm just going to put in the seed cells. So I decided to go with the oregano, the rosemary, basil, and some sage. Because those are pretty easy for me to grow inside and under a grow light. And plus I'm not starting anything right now that I'm going to put directly into the garden because it's way too early for that. Because here we don't plant until May. It's really hard to get anything into the ground before then because a lot of times we're still getting snow in um, in April on and off. It depends. April can be one of those months where it's really nice and um, the snow is gone or it can be a month where we're still getting snow which is really discouraging. So we're just going to fill these up. I usually just use the um, seed starting mix from Walmart to start my seeds, but I decided that I would mix it with some compost this year to save a little bit of money because I always spend a fortune on seed starting mix and I really don't want to have to do that. So we'll see how it does with the compost. And then of course after these get bigger I will transfer them into bigger pots so they can grow with more room, grow bigger, we'll have lots of herbs to harvest and dry before planting time even gets here. That's what I'm hoping. All right. So that one is all done. And we'll do the basil first. I grew some of this purple basil last year. I, it didn't really do real great for me, but I'm gonna try it again because I really like it. I just sprinkle them around. I just put a little bit of dirt back over top. I think 
basil germinates pretty quickly. Let's see what the pack says. It says seven to 14 days. And we use basil in so much food that it's good. I don't have to buy it. All right. So that's it for the basil. And in this one, we are going to do some oregano. Oregano is really good medicinal herb, so I like to have a lot of that on hand. In fact, I just bought some from the store because I was out. I made a tea with it. Um, Tammy had told me that um, oregano tea is really good for... Um, when you're sick, you know, it's antibacterial. It's a really good antibiotic even. So I tried it and it was rough to get down because that stuff was tasted terrible, but I actually did feel a difference after I drank it. So I'm gonna grow some more, have it on hand that way. When I'm sick, I don't think it's anything the kids will try, but you don't get very many oregano seeds in this pack at all. So, I'll probably use the whole pack. Well, they're so tiny, the oregano seeds. Just put some a little bit of soil over them. The little seeds don't need a lot of soil on top of them. Just want to make sure you mash it down real good. All right, so we got some oregano and basil started. All right, so I'm gonna start the sage and the rosemary um, in a little bit. I had to cook up some more soil. So um, the sage only takes, says five to six days to germinate and the rosemary can take 15 to 30 days and it sometimes does take a while. It just depends like where you put it, um, what your environment is, the temperature in the room. So, and once they, um, all Germany. I get to put them under my grow light and hopefully have some really great fresh herbs for the rest of the winter till I can get outside in the garden and grow some food. So anyway, I thank you for watching today and I will see you in the next video.